So Cornell, one, uh, I love the film, I've seen it twice and I want to see it again because it's so unique. I would like to, in a way for me, the film is a metaphor for uh, millions of people in the world or in, in Europe too, who have, they have no voice, like the Romans in Hungary or uh, the Moroccans who go to Spain and they risk their lives through the, through the Mediterranean, the immigrants in London. And uh, Do you think uh, I'm right or is it a little metaphorical like that? Absolutely. Uh, so they are up like all time minorities. But this movie is also mir mirroring always the majority because we have the responsibility to, uh, to them. So in one hand, uh, is the, the is the movie about them? It's a cry about them. But in another hand, you know, it's just our responsibility to how is the white gods are uh, uh, decided to what kind of society we would like to live. So it's not a political movie, but it's a huge protest somehow. In a way, I felt like uh, I was watching your movie, but. Uh, I felt that you were influenced by Fassbender yeah. and Steven Spielberg at the same time, which is an incredible combination. Absolutely. Could you comment on that? I'm yeah. setting up the clock. Yeah, so we absolutely. Sorry. So uh, actually I'm from a countryside, from a little city, and there was two places to watch movies. One is the Cultural House and one is the City Theatre. And the Cultural House, we watched a lot of author cinema. And uh, those authors uh, was really changed my life. For example, Fassbinder, who is still one of the top directors in my, in my soul. And when I was 15, I remember his, I saw five Fassbinder movies, and that was like those melodramas uh, changed me, changed the thinking about world and about humanity. And uh, in the same time, I watched also The Terminator and Jurassic Park and even E.T. in the city theater because that was the really end of the communism, beginning of the 90s, the, after the change, you know, that, that timing. And those post-apocalyptic images and author cinema is really crossing in, in, into my soul and I, I love them. So I. What was the importance of getting certain regard? I mean, it's a fantastic award. I'm sure you were very happy with it, and yeah. you're here. Yeah, actually, we, we, we took a lot of risk with that movie. We shoot uh, with dogs, no CGI, with children, and melting genres, reacting to our reality where we are living. And, and, and when how I am shooting, sometimes on the set, I felt, I'm, are we crazy? So, what we are doing here is that. The, and then when Khan decided to be part of the festival in certain regard, that, that we were very happy. And the film started to grow. And we felt the audience reacting very well. So they are coming with us. They, was, you know, they just easily make the twists and turns inside the movie. And they are celebrate the freedom of how you watch this movie. And, and then the prize, of course, we felt after Cannes that that was really the best place to premiere this movie and, and, and spare in the, the world. You know, watching the film, one feels happiness, sadness, one cries, one loves Lily, one hates the father. So it's very emotional and at the same time, very uplifting. Yeah. Without giving up, I thought the ending was like, wow. So yeah. tell us a little about uh, how did you accomplish to create all those feelings in the audience? I think this is contemporary life. I felt, you know, my reality is changing as an Eastern European the last five, eight years. So all of the genres comes together. And uh, if you are walking from a block to another in the street of Budapest, you have those genres. So it's a political satire, an absurd, a, a social drama, a horror movie. It's just, just the next door. I mean, it's really, really like that to live in. and uh, and. And I would like to react on that, and I would like to create a cinematic language for the, those feelings that I had. And uh, I think this is this is how is uh, this is what also the audience enjoys so much. They don't know what's the end, and they they waiting a bit full of suspense and and full of openness. So if we find not a non dogmatic audience, then they enjoy for sure. I think it's the first time that a dog gets an award at Cannes. Yeah, yeah, Can exactly. Can you talk about the, 
palm dog. The palm dog is, I think, no, he, they was the, I don't know, eight. So it's it, this, this uh, award, I didn't knew that before, but it, it, it's like seven years ago when they started to give also for a dog. And I felt it's just a fun just a joke and I went there no it's a serious award they really watch all of the movies which and celebrate any kind of dogs in it and then they do and uh, and I was like really surprised because we won the main the palm but also you know the the Godard movie goodbye from the language that's also a dog who was the second prize and in the Godard movie there is a sentence about uh, about uh, uh, the love in between human and, and, and dog, that sounds like that. Uh, the humans are not like themselves as much than the dog's lives humans. And it's so true. It's incredible, it's so true. Uh, let me ask you, Hagen and Lily, they go through a lot of uh, uncertainty. Yeah. They're very close. In, uh, can you talk a little about the relationship between Lily and Hagen? Exactly. I mean, they, they are all of, both of them is newcomers. So also Hagen is never do any movies and also Lily, she's never do any movies before. And they just meet each other in the rehearsals and then they build their relation. So actually we, we rehearsing like almost half year before starting and during the process also. And, and then I, I must say they really uh, write the script, also Lily and also Hagen, what they can do and what they cannot do. And uh, in one point for, for a control freak person or control freak di director as I am, it's just changed. It's like in a therapy, that patient, curiosity, and then it's it, they gives much more if you so, had this. So you have to let go a little exactly. from your script and your exactly, exactly. It's like uh, like it's like a dramatized nature movie, somehow. Uh, Two hundred and eighty dogs participated in the film. Yeah, that's amazing. No CGI. How did you get these dogs to act so well? They're great actors. <laughs> they are actually. It's really meaningful that all of them is coming from shelters, shelter houses, and they was really depressed to be there and just, 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 you know, deep, depressed dog comes out and we started to work together and, uh, and the dogs really would like to collaborate always with human and then they be the happy bunch, really. And they do all of the things just with a lots of happiness and lots of power. And when we recognize it for those scenes when they are running together, they really would like to run because of us and because we give hope to them and then all of them was adopting to families so they don't go back to the shelter houses because that's a, such a bad conception or we collect you here and leave back there so uh, but of course this is drop in the ocean and I try to support as much adaptations and and, and shelter houses as, as I can and I was not a huge animal rights fighter, but now I am because I felt I would like, because, in one hand because of the animals, of course, but in another hand, I would like to live in a society where everybody has rights, even animals or even plant. Uh, Budapest is a character in the movie. How did you get to those shots? Like you closed the, the city, the yeah, city yeah. No? became yours. Exactly, exactly, right? for a few hours. I'm so appreciative of the city, be, just to make it happen for a tons of money. Uh, but, uh, but anyhow, just to use the city as a set that, that you know, just gives a lot of power for the movie. And, uh, and also I really like, you know, these classical buildings uh, and, and the anger dogs, like, like in one image, it's so contradicted. But it's really that was in my dream that to create those scenes, and uh, yeah, we are blocking, but just for a few hours. But we have a place in the countryside where we are rehearsing, so it was a very special method how we shoot this movie. And uh, last question, like, uh, where's uh, Hagen was played by two dogs? Exactly. People want to know where they're. I think one is Lucky and the other one is. It's Body. Body. Where are they? They are here. They are adopting by the trainer. They are in just the US? in the U.S. in Los Angeles, and just uh, 
part of a pool, you know, they drink their cocktails, uh, so they are real stars. So they're becoming Hollywood dogs. I, 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 exactly, exactly. So, but they are very fun and they do really the character together. So there is not the good one and the bad one, not at all. They really do the, the whole character together.